Hello everyone. Welcome to the next video in our series on Symantec Backup Exec 2010. Backup Exec is a complete backup and recovery solution for businesses of all sizes. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to install the server component of Backup Exec. In this video series, we will be using the trial edition of Symantec Backup Exec Server 2010. First, we will perform an environment check prior to the installation. Then we will review the installation options. Next, we will show how to create a domain service account for Backup Exec. Then we will select a database backend for our server. After the installation completes, we will perform a live update on our new Backup Exec server. Lastly, we will give an introduction to the user interface. Let's take a look at Symantec Backup Exec Server 2010. To begin, we will insert the Backup Exec install disk and run the browser application from the DVD. Now select Install Products and then select Backup Exec. Please read the licensing agreement thoroughly and if you accept, select I accept and then click Next. Then we will select local install. This will trigger an environment check and if the installer detects any issues with the system it will display them on the following screen. The only issues it displays for me are recommendations that I use Symantec Antivirus and Symantec Endpoint Protection Manager so we will disregard those messages. Everything else looks good so we will proceed. The following screen is where you would enter all the license keys for Backup Exec and its components. Since this is a trial version, we will simply click Next to continue. This screen is where we select all the additional features and options to include in our Backup Exec installation. Please review all the available options carefully and read the description to determine whether or not your backup scheme will benefit from any of these features. One feature that we highly recommend is the Advanced Open File option, which allows for the backup of files that are open and in use. The next list contains even more features to expand the functionality of the Backup Exec server. The last list contains additional agents to include in the installation. Agents provide the ability to integrate with specific types of systems to backup and restore data. For this demonstration, we will select the Exchange Server Agent, the Microsoft SQL Agent, the Oracle Database Agent, and lastly, the VMware Virtual Infrastructure Agent. On the following screen, we will select an installation path for Backup Exec. We are going to install this to the D drive since C has been dedicated to Windows. Next, we will specify a service account that Backup Exec will use to run. For this, we will jump over to our domain controller. From there, we will launch the Active Directory Users and Computers Management Console. Within the console, you will notice I have already created an organizational unit for service accounts. Right-click Service Accounts and select New and then User. Then we will fill out the user information. Please note that the username is in camel case and prefixed with an underscore. This is our standard best practice for service accounts. Next, we will unselect the user must change password at next logon option and then select the user cannot change password and password never expires options. Then we will enter a strong password and click next and then finish to create the new user in the Active Directory domain. Now we will jump over to the backup server and add this new user as a local administrator which is required for the backup exec installation. From the backup server, we will select Start, then Run, and type MMC to launch the Microsoft Management Console. Within the console, select File and Add Remove Snap-in. Then select Local Users and Groups from the list, click Finish, and then OK. Now, we will select the Administrators group and double-click on it to view the properties. In the Properties window, click Add and then type underscore backup exec and click check names to automatically fill in the field. Now click OK then apply and OK a second time 
and now we have added the backup exec user to the local admins group. Let's return to our backup exec server installation. Now we will enter the new service account credentials into the installer and click next. Then the installer will grant the required permissions and assign that user to the backup exec services. Next, we will select a database backend for our server. I am going to choose to create a new instance of MS SQL Express. However, if you decide to use an existing MS SQL server, there is an option available. On the following screen, we will be prompted to select the drivers for use with a tape drive. We are going to use the recommended semantic drivers and click next to proceed. Now a final summary screen is presented and we can review all the installation options selected before proceeding. Once we are ready, click install to begin the process. Upon completion, the installer will automatically launch the Symantec Live Update application. This program automatically applies updates to the backup exec server. At this screen, we will click Next to proceed with the live update. Once the process completes, we now have a fresh and fully updated instance of Symantec Backup Exec Server 2010. We will go ahead and launch the application to give a quick tour of the user interface. When the application launches for the first time, we will be greeted with a welcome page providing steps to get started and access to resources such as documentation and technical support information. As we browse the tabs at the top of the window, we can see where to create backup and restore jobs, view active and scheduled jobs, configure the backup devices, and manage the various media sets used in the backup scheme. All these pieces combined allow you to create and manage a robust backup system for your entire infrastructure. This concludes our video tutorial on the installation of Symantec Backup Exec Server 2010. Thank you for joining us, and if you found this tutorial video helpful, please subscribe to Nextara, our YouTube channel, and visit us at our website, www.nextara.com. Thank you.